Am I the asshole for not wanting to celebrate my mom on my birthday? I have three siblings between the ages of 10 and 18. I'm the oldest fourth at 25. Every year on every single one of our birthday, we're expected to celebrate my mom as well. We've done it since we were little. It was taught to me as, giving thanks for carrying plus giving birth to us. Which I'm all for, I am grateful as we wouldn't be here without her. The issue is though, it becomes less of our birthday and more so an anniversary for the day our mom gave birth. Every year on our birthday our mom gets gifts too. As we got older, we're now expected to get her monetary gifts, and not cards, or homemade stuff. Just recently was my birthday and I was gifted some much needed clothes and dishware for my new apartment. My dad however got my mom a new MacBook. My siblings all got her gifts too. My youngest brother isn't expected to give much, but my 16-year-old sister and 18-year-old second brother work so they're expected to give gifts too. My sister pulled me aside before my birthday and said she was sorry she couldn't get me much, she got me a sweater, I love it. And that she wanted to get me more but our mom was pressuring her to get a certain necklace for our mom. Apparently my mom had been dropping hints for month and my sister was worried our mom would be upset and feel underappreciated if she didn't get it. I asked how much it was, and my sister said it was $300. I honestly lost it on our mom and chewed into her later that afternoon when my mom opened her gifts after me. I think she's ridiculous for even wanting my sister to spend so much on a gift. Mom started crying and my dad kicked me out. Mom won't answer calls but my aunt, mom's sister, called and said I was a poss for not respecting my mother and that I'm a selfish, narcissist child for being jealous of the gifts mom got. I thought I was in the right, but now I don't know. It's been over two weeks and mom won't answer my calls. She's been posting on Facebook inspiration quotes about letting go of the toxicity in your life, how blood doesn't equal family, and how hard it is to be a mother. Several family members, aunt, grandma, uncle, and two of my cousins, are replying to the posts and are very obviously directing vague comments at me about being a horrible daughter. I dk what to think now because of how many people are on her side skeptical smiley face. Edit. Thank you for all your feedback. I think it's really eye-opening and I'm going to try to find a therapist so I can unload all this fuckery. Also, thank you for the awards but you don't have to. If you'd feel inclined, I think it would be pretty cool to donate it instead to a cool charity of your choice instead. Not the asshole. It was her choice to carry four children and give birth to them. Your mother sounds self-centered ans selfish. As far as toxicity in one's life and how blood doesn't equal family, I think you should apply that to your mother, not to you. Not the asshole however your mom though. Holy crap bucket. How the hell can you feel entitled to a $300 gift from your kid, at 18? And expecting 5 birthdays a year. Your mom and your enabling family are messed up. I would have cut them off ASAP. Maybe leave an olive branch for your siblings if they want to run at some point as well. Not the asshole so much. Your birthday and your mom got a new MacBook, a 300 necklace plus more? And she does this 4x a year plus Christmas, her own birthday and Mother's Day. Also why is your dad ignored here? It's shocking how awful she is guilting you all into spending loads on her so much each year. Not the asshole and I've never in my life heard of such a ridiculous thing as gifts for the mother or father for a kid's birthday. That is some narcissistic nonsense. Shouldn't your father get them too? On Mother's Day and Father's Day are they expected to give you guys gifts since you are the reason they are parents? Maybe you should stop trying to contact them and distance yourself for a while without any contact with your parents, siblings clearly need your level head. Seriously, what a load of crap behavior. Not the asshole. Giving your mom gifts on your birthday isn't a normal thing. Pretty rich of your aunt to call you the narcissist when your mother has been taking advantage of you for to milk for more gifts and money. This is just like the parents who say their kids owe them for, xyz bullshit. Not the asshole, and this is the weirdest thing I've ever heard of. Not the asshole this the first time I've ever heard of, gifts for the mother, on the person's birthday. So your mom gets four rounds of gifts, plus her birthday, that is pretty demanding. Start having birthday celebrations without them going forward. Like going out with a bunch of friends instead. The fact your parents have continued it for you up to age 25 means your mom doesn't want give give up he extra present day. Info how is this portrayed to the rest of the family? Did they just hear you yelled at your mom that she doesn't deserve her gifts or did they hear that your 16 y sister was expected to spend $300 for mom's gift on your birthday? Is this normal in your extended family? 
I don't really care if your dad gives a gift but it seems messed up to have to give one to your mom on your sibling's birthday. Plus $300 as a teenager is fucked up. The only people I would spend that much on are my kids and then it isn't a guarantee. For her birthday, just give her a card and then give your grandma a nice present. Start asking your aunts, uncles what they bought for their parents on their siblings' birthdays. Am I the asshole for being upset with my son for finding a job without telling me? My son is 18, he is going to be attending community college and is living with me, my husband and his two younger half-sisters. The other day I found out that he found and accepted a job without telling me. I was upset with him about it and the reason for that is that first of all, he should have told me since we live in the same house and also, and more importantly now I'm left without someone to stay with the girls from 3 to 8 where my shift start ends. My son is usually the one to stay home with the girls and his new job is during these hours so one way or another we are impacted. He told me his friend found him this job and it just happened but I don't think it did because he knew he had to give up staying with his sisters while I work. My husband travels most of the time, he's a pilot, and paid childcare is a no for me. My son said I shouldn't be surprised by him trying to work to save money to be able to pay for himself, but that is just absurd since he literally lives with us without having to pay for anything except for his own entertainment. He said he needed the job and he wasn't realistically going to stay and watch his sisters for days on end especially he doesn't get paid for it. We kept arguing and my husband got involved and he too was upset saying that my son had no respect for us. My son basically had a, like it or not, attitude with us and kept refusing to discuss this wirh us saying we have no right to be upset with him and should just accept it. But I'm just. I think that he's being inconsiderate of my husband's and I struggle to provide for the family as a whole. This should mean something to him but he acted selfishly. ETA okay. It seems that I did not mention the reason why the babysitter option isn't ideal and is because my daughters don't want a babysitter. They're both dealing with some issues and are uncomfortable being with a stranger at home. Besides that my son decided to stay with them and we didn't ask him or anything. ETA okay. Some of you here are implying or suggesting that I'm making my son to be the girl's babysitter but that is in fact not true. He doesn't do much for them, just stays home with them while he studies or plays video games. He adores his sisters and only stays with them when he wants to. Otherwise we wouldn't force him. Also, my husband said the girls are too young for therapy and I agree with him on that. You are the asshole, he isn't free childcare. He has his own life he needs to live and what he is doing is bettering himself for the future. You need a better plan than forcing your kid to babysit for no money. So instead of getting a paying job for himself, you want him to work for you for free? You are the asshole and this should be cross-posted to R, choosing beggar's law. You are the asshole the man is 18. He needs a job and he doesn't have any children, you have children. Stop relying on your son like he is your co-parent or partner. He is not. Paid childcare is a no for me. Unless you can't afford it, seems it'll have to be a yes for you. He is right in that he has to start being independent. Your kids are your and your husband's responsibility, not his. You are the asshole. Oh my god, no wonder he didn't tell you. You are the asshole, a million times over. I wish him well saving so he can get far away. Pay someone to watch your kids or change your schedule. He's not their provider. You are the asshole. He does not owe you childcare. He is allowed to make decisions regarding his own life and a part-time job is absolutely something he has a right to without consulting you first. Take care of your own kids or pay someone else to. Full stop. You are the asshole you should be proud of him for actually working towards his independence. Older children are not free labor for parents. Get a babysitter. How is your son responsible for your family? You decided to have children, you look after them. Stop expecting your adult son to give up his own life to take care of your children. Having a job will teach him a lot and it's perfectly normal to be working at his age and while in college. You are the asshole. Am I the asshole for telling my cousin and her husband they should consider stopping their IVF treatment? My F28 female cousin Lauren F35 and her husband have been struggling with having kids and are suffering from health issues. They've begun IVF treatment which is expensive where I live. So far they've had several rounds but no luck. They visited on my mom's birthday yesterday. We don't see each other much now but mom tells me about how they're doing in general. We were conversing at dinner and the IVF got brought up. Lauren said she and her husband are about to undergo another round of IVF. Everyone at the table said a prayer and wished them luck. 
but I told Lauren that after spending this much money and after having already gone through several rounds in addition to other factors contributing to their infertility issues, she should really consider stopping IVF and taking a break and also saving money. Lauren and her husband looked offended. Lauren then said that they aren't struggling with money so it's okay. I explained that they may not be struggling now but will be in the future seeing they'd spent thousands and wasted money for no benefits while they could have financially helped some strolling family with kids. Lauren got quiet. I stated that this was just my opinion after all. Lauren's husband looked at me grudgingly and said, I think you should just mind your own business and keep your opinion to yourself, from there the argument ensued. I told him he was being disrespectful and he kept talking back. Shortly after, he and Lauren left. Mom started asking me why I caused a scene on her birthday. I said we were just talking but Lauren and her husband blew this way out of proportion. Mom said that I had zero say in anyone's reproductive choice and should have kept my mouth shut. My sister who rarely agrees with me sided with me saying I was good. But Mom is insisting I call Lauren and apologize to her. My husband too sided with me and told me to give it few days and Lauren will call. I see Lauren as my sister and I respect her but we have our moments. Am I the asshole in this situation? You are the asshole their reproductive choices are none of your business. I told him he was being disrespectful and he kept talking back. Ironic that you'd call him disrespectful and claim he's the one talking back. You are the asshole. What they do with their money and their bodies is none of your business. And that they could have financially helped some struggling family with kids. Are you helping a struggling family with kids? You are the asshole. Let me guess, you're the struggling family with kids, they should have helped instead. This is absolutely a MYFB situation. You are the asshole. Hugely. This isn't your choice, you are not entitled to an opinion unless specifically asked. Their finances and family planning are none of your business. I'm glad the husband stood up for themselves, they are in a tough enough situation without having to deal with outside criticism. You are the asshole. Lauren's husband said it best, I think you should just mind your own business and keep your opinion to yourself, people always say when giving opinions we should think. 1. Is it necessary? 2. Is it helpful? 3. Is it kind? But I think we need to add a fourth. 4. Is it asked for? Your opinion was not necessary, helpful, kind, or asked for so keep it to yourself. They will already be getting unwanted opinions about their reproductive decisions from so many people who should have kept their thoughts to themselves don't jump on that bandwagon. Edit sorry as the below user says, sorry don't know how to quote on phone. It should be at least two of the above three and this was definitely none of them. Edit thank you for the awards. Yes, you are the asshole, and your mom is right. You have no right to butt in about their reproductive choices. You have no idea what an infertile couple is going through emotionally so keep your mouth shut. Wow you are the asshole. They are trying to have a child, not planning vacations. It's not wasted money to them, if you think what they are doing is wrong keep it to yourself, what they are going through is hard enough without someone, especially family, telling them they are wasting money. You are the asshole. They didn't ask your advice. They didn't ask your opinion. You decided you needed to give it to them. In public. On your mother's birthday. You have a lot of apologizing to do. Am I the asshole for taking my oldest son out of my will and putting in my niece? Throw away for privacy reasons. My wife C, 53, thinks that I, 56, am disgusting for removing my eldest son B, 30, from my will. For some background my youngest sister was married to a black man and she had his child, my niece. My sister died during childbirth and her husband died from COVID shortly after. My mother adopted her and now she does her best to raise her but she's elderly and her health is deteriorating. My wife and I do our best help out from time to time. My youngest son A and his wife are fond of her and help out as well. B's first interaction with her was awful her called the n-word with the hard r and said we shouldn't be raising a monkey. My mother screamed at him and banned him from her home and she said she didn't know how we raised a racist child and until we got his act together he would never be allowed in the vicinity of her home. My wife said that we can't force our son to like, the blacks, her words not mine. Once I got home I immediately asked him to move out until he can apologize to my niece. My wife threatened to divorce me and called an animal for abandoning our child. I screamed at her and said see he is 30 years old it's long overdue for him to be out. I left and went to work with my youngest and told him what happened. He thinks I'm blowing the whole thing out of proportion and that only my mother was right to ban him from his house. 
When B asked to stay with A he told him no and that he should apologize so he doesn't get left out of the will. B told my wife and she locked me out of the house, I am currently staying with my mother. Here's where I think I might be the asshole I called the police on my son to make him leave and told my wife she was a bitch and not only a bitch but a racist bitch. I have a will because I have heart disease and wanted to have everything organized in case I die. NTA fuck racists, plain and simple. Also where I'm from, USA not sure of your location, it's very odd he was still at home in the first place, does he not work full time or is there a disability? ETA. To clarify, I mean my area of the US, not all of the USA. I know some places are extremely high call and different cultures, socioeconomic areas this can be common. Sorry for the confusion. The blacks, I guess we know where he got it from I think the easiest path for you is a divorce and of course writing him out of your will. Not the asshole. How the hell do you spend 30 plus years with someone and not know they are a racist? Or that they've raised your kids to be racists as well? Your wife and son are awe of epic proportion, they are both racists and bigots. It seems you, your mother, and your youngest son are the non-racist half of the family. Change your will quickly. Also, what tf is your 30-year-old son doing still living at home? Not the asshole he's racist and your wife is standing up for him. If you cut him off you better cut off your racist wife too. You need to get thee divorced. And make sure your will is watertight. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. It sounds like you are better off living with your mother and supporting that baby, than living with your racist son and enabling wife. I hope you don't have a joint will with your wife she will be looking for ways to get power in this situation and make your life difficult. And I hope you and your mother have discussed a plan for guardianship, given her age and your health disposition.